action. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Holly Marker. And I'm Ayesha Adamo. And welcome to another episode of Show, Show and Tell, Tell Tuesdays! Tuesdays. <laughs> um, so what have you got? Okay, so today I'm going to show you um, my journal. Tra okay, so I don't like journals. I don't like to write journals. I, um, I, I find it a little sort of masturbatory of like, oh, this is how I'm feeling and this is how what I'm doing. And like, it's not interesting to me to share well, it. There's with nothing wrong with masturbation. There is nothing wrong with masturbation. In fact, I encourage it. I mean, <laughs> not right now. <laughs> Hold on, Tiger. Sit down, man. <laughs> so, um. We see you. <laughs> So, uh, so what I did, what I found what really worked for me is to like document my travels and my adventures, um, was I studied abroad a lot in college and I moved to Egypt when I was like 21, 20, I was 20 at the time. And, um, I was really close with my best friend, Sabra Mahaffey, real person, a uh, wonderful girl I knew, uh, growing up in Oregon. We showed dairy goats at the 4-H. <laughs> Go goats! Ah, <laughs> go goats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I just started to write to her in like these journals, these small mm -hmm. little journals. And uh, I just, I write to her about anything and everything. Um, I write fiction sometimes or poetry or, you know, what I'm doing. Here's a picture of like this bar that I worked at in New York City when I first moved here oh, a couple so of years cool. ago. You know, and like I, I... Is that the SoCo Lime Machine? This is a SoCo Lime Machine. <laughs> Check that out. SoCo Lime Machine. <laughs> this is the bar. You know, like, I'm not... I'm no Picasso. Uh, <laughs> no, that's good. But... I think it's quite good. Yeah, so I just... Um, I just write to her and I tell her what I'm doing and where I'm going. And, and that way she has always been with me, even when we are so far apart. And like, this is one of my best friends. And, um, and so we've always lived so far away from each other. She's in Oregon and I'm in New York or I'm in, um, England or I'm in, you know, like, uh, Germany and wherever else I, I take to. And so I just, I write to her and uh, I send it off and it's, she's always with me when I have her around. That's so. awesome. But, but, like, do you, knowing that someone else is going to read it, even though it's your best friend, do you really divulge everything? I, I talk a lot. I mean, because I, I would think I would censor myself, you know, not share my dark side. <laughs> <laughs> um, the darkness that envelops me. I mean, I, I do, I do actually talk a lot about, you know, certain things that are bothering me or, um guilt I have about not being able to be a better friend or <laughs> or you know just stupid things a lot of the boys that are end up in my life end up in here um, I think you're a great friend by the way thanks. I have firsthand experience thanks you can stop it some more <laughs> <laughs> no so like I I I just tell her whatever it's funny too sometimes when you sit down and you're gonna write something to someone and you think okay I'm gonna write this but then you're you're writing and this comes out and it's mm -hmm. completely not what you thought it would be uh, I just go with it and um, yeah so it's incredibly special to me and it's a different way of writing or keeping a journal of your activities that you can then share with someone so that's why I wanted to bring it I imagine someday like you're going to you know have some powwow I mean it just it's like she's the keeper of your history. Yeah, and yeah, very much so. And Does then she send to you, or she doesn't. She um, no, we don't talk as much as I would like to. Um, and I see her when I get to go home to Oregon every once in a while. Um, but I just, I just keep her with me. <laughs> <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah. So that's my show until Tuesday. So, what do you got? Um. So I have got this ring. Okay. Oh, I'm it gonna looks, show it to the camera. It looks like a pimple. Um, it does look a bit like a zit. Um, also, I have been told by my male friends that it, it looks a bit like a clitoris that's sort of coming out, you know? Um, but anyhow, <laughs> tell me more. <laughs> um, so this, I, I kind of 
I decided I wanted one of these rings, and it's a bliss. I got into the blister pearls, blister abalone shell thing. Okay. And they were really popular in the 1920s. Okay. And 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 before that too, like just early 1900s. And I'm kind of like, you know, I don't know why because if you look at this, I mean, I'll show you again, and we'll make sure we get a good shot of it. As well, this is good. They can see it. They can see it back at home. Fine. In your lounge so, chair. Like, <laughs> cup of coffee. Oh, I see it. Oh, uh, yes, I clitoris. see it. That. that is a clitoris. <laughs> Definitely a clitoris. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I wondered, you know, is this some kind of, like, during the Art Deco period, like, you know, they can't, like, you know, subtle reference to sex or whatever, you know, right. like, they had the, like, kind of lead in your pencil, like, whatever references, and I, I mean, because this is not, it's not like a straight ahead, like, desirable gemstone, like a diamond or a ruby, or like, oh, that, that looks right. good, you know, no, but like, there's a lot of character in it. It, it, I love it, I love it, I mean, I think it's unique, and somebody has to wear pimple jewelry, and it might as well be me, um, <laughs> but, <laughs> You know, I, I just wondered why this was so popular. What was the phenomenon? And maybe someone out there in YouTube land knows about this and why it was a popular thing during Art Deco period. Yeah, um, if you guys uh, have any advice or information on uh, pimple... Blister. <laughs> pimple. Art pimple pearls. <laughs> pimple pearls. <laughs> Let us know, because we'd really, we'd really love to know. Yeah. Um, so I, I just really, you know, I just really like it. And I just... I love the orange on like the the this bright orangey thing exactly. on like the sheen this and it's a yeah. different like um like a texture. Yeah. Well, I mean that's like so blister pearls in general, they're pearls that kind of got stuck on the side of the shell and and so, you know, they can't make it into a bead, so they have to cut it out and make it into like this kind of jewelry where they set it. Mm -hmm. But um you know, the ones that the particularly the ones that are popular in the like twenties and stuff, they all have this kind of like reddened like or orange like the pearl part is like this other color from yeah. the backdrop. Um, and you, I've never seen an orange pearl. Right? Yeah, it's 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 odd. It's it's kind of you know it looks suggestive of something bodily. You know, I I don't know what. Um, exactly, but <laughs> maybe, maybe it's just me, you know, wishful thinking or whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's what I got. And, um, it's beautiful. Thank you. And I got it on eBay, um, for a very reasonable price. eBay queen. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes. Awesome. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, and. That's, I guess that's it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. That's it. That's it. That's, that's show and tell Tuesday. That that's, is, that's it. We, we got journals and we got pimple rings. That's what we Clitoris got. Clitoris rings. Clitoris rings. <laughs>